Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about camber on a car. In this video, I will be explaining the two different types of camber and I will also be explaining their uses. So let's get right to it. There are basically two types of camber on a car, positive and negative. Now positive camber is when you see both of the, the bottoms of both of the tires going inwards towards the car, towards the, the center of the car. So basically positive camber is when you see the tires looking like this. And this is obviously very, very exaggerated, but the, the bottoms of the tires are going inwards towards the center of the car. Now positive camber is actually found on many stock cars. So many cars that come right from the factory are equipped with very, very, a very slight version of positive camber. And that is for specific reasons that uh, I will not be explaining in this video um, because I, I would have to go quite in depth, but maybe I'll explain it in a future video. Now, negative camber, on the other hand, is what you generally see more frequently or what you generally notice more frequently. Now, negative camber is when the bottoms of the tires go outwards from the center of the car. So when it looks like this, basically, when the tires look like this. And once again, this is very over-exaggerated, but that is the, uh, the general idea. The bottoms of the tires are sticking out. And negative camber is what you see more frequently because it offers uh, a few benefits. So basically it offers a wider stance on the car or on the vehicle and that wider stance leads to better handling and uh, even greater stability. So, you know, when that is why, you know, street cars, people that are driving their cars on the street and on the track will choose negative camber instead of positive camber. Now, with that being said, a lot of people also choose negative camber because it simply looks cooler. If you take a look at a car that has, you know, ex you know, a, a great amount of negative camber, so an over-exaggerated amount of negative camber and an over-exaggerated amount of positive camber, the car with the negative camber will kind of look cooler and more unique. So that's why, in, in my opinion, the majority of people that are modifying their car for looks will choose negative camber instead of positive camber. But that's basically it. I just wanted to talk to you about camber on a car and I wanted to tell you about the two specific types and their specific uses um, and their specific functions basically and benefits. And that's basically it. The next time that you see a car with its wheels on an angle in one way or another, you will know um, what it is. It is camber. You will know whether it is positive camber or negative camber, and you will also know, or you will, you will probably know the reasons that they have modified their car in that way. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.